welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 8 and I am going to be going over 10 holiday tips that I have. It's just some things that um, I incorporate into my life that makes things a little bit easier during the holidays. I just thought that I would share those with you. This video today is not going to be very long. I've actually had some issues over the last couple of days. I just recently put up the Vlogmas Day 6. I didn't get to do any filming yesterday because I was having some issues with my equipment. I was having some storage space problems and it was taking me quite a while to be able to get that resolved and to get my video edited. So, um, day seven didn't happen, but we're on day eight. I'm going to get that done and then hopefully I'll have some more good stuff for you tomorrow. But the holiday tips that I'm going over with you, I'm going to try and do this in a fairly decent order. The first holiday tip I have is to do on sh online shopping early. If you um, wait too late to do your own sh online shopping, it can pose problems further on down toward um, the closer you get to Christmas. The prices on products that you need can increase the closer it gets to Christmas due to supply and demand. I had uh, something in my cart last year for Amazon and I was just waiting for payday to come around so that I could purchase it. And the very next day it actually doubled in price. When I went out to um, look to inquire about this, I noticed some people were posting that uh, Amazon sellers do this quite often the closer it gets to Christmas. And that if you contact them a lot of times they will... Um, go back and honor the price that they had originally had on there. So that's what I did. Luckily, the seller that I was, um, that was selling the product that I wanted um, was able to reduce that price for me so that I could buy it. But not all of them may do that. And depending on the website that you're at, you may um, end up being stuck paying more than you want to or not being able to get the product at all. Also, um, you take a chance of the product running out. If um, you're purchasing a pretty hot item, you may not, they may not have any left by the time you do decide to get it if you wait too late. Also, with online shipping, your shipment may not arrive in time. A lot of um, online uh, retailers have gotten really good about doing fast shipping, but the closer it gets to Christmas, the more packages that are going out and the more chances you have of your package getting lost or just having to pay more for it in order to get it out in time. Um, also, if you need to return a product that you receive that's damaged or doesn't fit or wrong color or something, you want to be able to have time to return that product and have another one shipped out to you before Christmas. So it just makes more sense to do these things early. Also, when you're um, shopping with online retailers, look to see if you could find um, retailers that will offer free shipping. I do some online shopping and I never pay for shipping when I do online. I'm just not going to do that. I just feel like that's just like throwing money out the door. Um, you can also see if you have, if you're buying a product from a store that you have locally, but it's just not in your store, you're not able to get it out to your store at that time, check to see if the website that you're shopping at offers free shipping to, to the store, on-site free shipping, so that you can actually go to the store and pick it up and they won't charge you anything for it. I've actually went to stores before and may not have the product that I want, so they would order it online and if I had it shipped to my house, I would have to pay for it, whereas if they had it shipped to the store, I could just go back to the store and pick it up and they wouldn't charge me anything for it. Um, another good strategy to use when you're doing online shopping is to use Amazon Prime. You can also use a website called Ebates where that you actually will go log on to Ebates and then through Ebates you will um, choose the store that you want to shop at and they, if they will have a link there for you to select that store, it will take you to their website and then depending on what is eligible, the things that you purchase, you could actually earn money back and then Ebates will reimburse you. So it's just a way, it doesn't cost you anything, it's just one extra step of logging into Ebates and linking into the store you want to shop at as opposed to just going straight to the store. But so far I've already got back $12 and I started doing it the day after Thanksgiving. So a lot of times, um, certain times of the year they'll actually offer more um, 
percentage back than usual. I think on Black Friday they were actually like doubling some of their percentages and that's why I was able to get as much as I did. There's another um, website called Abada. Uh, my sister was telling me about but I have not gotten on to that yet to see how that works but from what I understand it's kind of similar to Ebates. So um, Amazon Prime you do have to pay for. I think the last time we were charged we do it once a year in January and I think it was a hundred dollars. Um, you get two day free shipping with that whenever you order through Amazon Prime. Most of the products on Amazon is offered in Amazon Prime. There's a few that's not, but almost everything that I ever shop for, I actually refine my search by Amazon Prime and I, I never have a problem. But if you're not going to purchase through Amazon often, it may not be worth it to you. With Amazon Prime, you also get um, their Amazon Movies, which um, is kind of like um, Netflix. So you have access to that as well, but it just depends on how much you would want to use the um, shipping as well as the movies it, to, in order for it to be worth $100 to you. A lot of times during holidays, people, I tend to shop there more, but you could buy anything from Amazon. You can even get your groceries there if you wanted to. Um, the second holiday tip that I have is to buy your gifts in bulk. If you have multiple people that you're buying for, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with buying them all the same thing. Just, to, you know, switch up the pattern or the color a little bit. This year, um, for all the girls in the family, and I'm not counting, like, children or my girls, but I mean, like, um, uh, my, nieces, my, yeah, my nieces or my nephew's wives, things like that, I purchased them all the same item, which was a pair of, no, I'm sorry, it was a scarf. It was a blanket scarf. And um, they all got a blanket scarf, but it's all in different colors, all different patterns. And then I paired that. I think two of them got a pair of socks, and then the other ones ended up getting like an EOS or something to go with it. But I just went ahead and bought, I think, seven or eight of one item in different colors, and all of them were covered at one time. It just makes shopping a lot more easier if you can do that. I also did the same thing for the men. I was able to go out and buy them um, cabin socks. Dix had those on sale, uh, buy one get one free. Those socks are normally $13. I was able to get those on Black Friday. And so each, you know, each one of the men in our family is getting a pair of cabin socks. And then they are the ones that I'm actually going to bake the cookies for. When I did my Dollar Tree haul, I showed the container that I was going to put those in. So it's just, it just makes it easy when you can get a lot of gifts knocked out at one time. And if you get something fairly um, generic, then it's probably going to be an item that everybody can use. Who don't does it need socks? I mean, really. And like the blanket scarf is versatile. You, because it's a blanket scarf, you can actually use it as a blanket. You can use it as a scarf around your neck or a shawl. You can just have different uses for it. Number three holiday tip. If you are not sure what to purchase someone, you've got that one person or two people in your family that's hard to shop for, try to um, shop at places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. Those stores, are very, they offer a variety of stuff, especially at Christmas time. It is unbelievable the things that they have in those stores. And the prices are very good, too. I mean, you can you know, spend very little for nice things, and you can spend a lot for nice things. But you've just got such a good selection and variety that it's almost impossible not to find something for somebody at those stores. Um, the next um, holiday tip that I have is to shop late at night, one or two hours before the store closes. I actually did this last night. I went to TJ Maxx um, a couple hours before the store closed, and there was hardly anybody in there. Um, another thing that's good about that is that the employees there were restocking. Now, I'm sure that you know, most stores have certain days of the week that they stock their shelves, so maybe I got there on their stocking day, but in any way, when stores do stock, they do it late at night because they want to be prepared for the next day. So if you happen to be shopping late at night or right before they close, then you may have an opportunity to um, have first choice over some of the things that they put out. And you don't have to stand in line. Number, sorry, I got my list here so that I, I don't forget. I had to write everything down. Number five um, is to keep your, your coupons close at hand and check the expiration dates often. Um, especially with like Bath and Body Works, a lot of times their coupons will only run for you know a certain amount of time, like 
two or three weeks and then uh, another one will pick up where that one left off and they'll send you several at one time. If you don't check them often and you just kind of keep them bunched up somewhere, by the time you go to use them, you may not be able to use half of them. I know with um, me, you know, I have to wait for paydays to roll around and I get paid every other week. So usually on payday, I pull out my coupons and then I go through them and see which ones I'm able to use for that particular payday and which ones I can save for the next. So just always keep your coupons on hand. Um, also another um, tip would be if you don't have any coupons or you know you just don't have access to any and you happen to be shopping in a store, try the um, website Retail Me Not. I'm not sure if they've got an app. Um, I haven't tried it. I think I just Google Retail Me Not. But whenever I'm in places like Ulta or Bath and Body Works or something and I don't have a coupon on me, so that I don't have to go home or, you know, hunt for one. A lot of times if you go to Retail Me Not, if there is a coupon that is issued for that store, they will have it. And you just type it in their search field, and when it comes up, there'll be a barcode or a, a code that they can type in at the cash register. Just pull it up and show it to the lady or whoever's checking you out, I'm sorry. And they should be able to give you that discount right there. Um, so always check Retail Me Not. Um, no matter where you're at. And actually check it if you do have a coupon because they may actually have a better one out there. Number six, if you need some small or filler gifts is what I call them where you purchase something but you just say, oh, I just need a little bit something extra to go with this. Um, you want to probably want to try, try to purchase items at places like the Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx. You can also check the stalker, stalker, <laughs> the stocking stuffer section in um, Walmart or Target, a lot of the stores, department stores and stuff like that will have sections in their store where they, they will put little stocking stuffers, little small items that are inexpensive. And you, if you want to, if you just want to give a small gift, that would be good. And if you just want to add to a gift, that would also be a good um, thing to do. Also, 5 and $10 gift cards to coffee shops or fast food restaurants are nice to add uh, or a little addition to a gift to you know, just complete the gift. Number seven, um, save your gift card purchases to buy last. Um, those are items that are not, or, you know, they're not going to sell out. I don't think I've ever went anywhere to buy a gift card and couldn't find one, or they told me they didn't have any more because they were sold out. You don't have to worry about that. You can go straight to the checkout counter, pick up what you need, and be gone. It's quick, it's easy. And when you get all your harder items out of the way, things that you have to wrap, things that you have to hunt for, things that you have to wait on to ship to you, you know, getting the, the hard stuff done first, save the gift cards for last. You can just take an hour or two out of your day um, and just run around, pick them all up, and then you're done. And then if you happen to be out like grocery shopping at Walmart or wherever you're at and you need a gift card, you can just pick it up while you're already at the store. A lot of times, um, you could have one-stop shopping for your gift card. I know Walmart has like um, a stand in the middle of their floor when you go in there, and they have gift cards for all kinds of um, places. So you could probably find everything you need right there. Um, the um, holiday tip number eight is to wrap your gifts as you receive them uh, or as you purchase them. You don't have to, if you buy one gift, you have to run home and wrap it. If you get, you know, accumulate two or three things, you know, just go ahead and, and wrap those. It probably won't take you no more than 15 minutes to do. And when you do them a little at a time, it's just a lot easier than having to sit down all at once and spend five hours wrapping all of your gifts at once. And I know I sit down on the floor and I wrap my gifts. And if I sit here long enough, bent over wrapping paper, my back hurts, my butt hurts, everything hurts. So you, you just feel like you're just more put together when you've already got presents under the tree and you don't have that much more left to do. Holiday tip number nine. If you're going to bake goods to gift to someone, do that about one or two days before you plan on gifting them just to ensure the freshness of it. Also, when you're baking goods, try not to mix your um, items together because the flavors can mingle depending on what it is that you're cooking. You also, um, a good thing to use would be wax paper. I know it's a good separator when I'm layering my cookies, especially if you have cookies that maybe are a little bit more soft. They will stick to each other, but if you put some wax paper in between them, that should eliminate that problem. Number 10, holiday tip. 
is to um, just don't overload your schedule. I know this time of year it's really easy with all the things going on, all the crafts fairs, all the parades, all of the um, exciting events going on. You just you want to do it all, and you just you can't. And if you try, you're going to end up stressing yourself out, and you're not going to enjoy yourself. I know there's been lots of years that I've just packed our schedule so full that once it was over with, I would just stop and think after it was done, you know, I don't even remember that or, it, you know, it was like I blinked and it was over because I didn't take time to actually enjoy things and just, you know, make a list of things that you'd like to do. If your list seems a bit, a little bit too much, just some strike some things off and just, you know, put a star beside of it that you're going to do that next year instead. Um, and if you don't do everything in one year, it's better because then you have something to look forward to the next year. But I, my advice is to take at least one day a week to do something just for yourself, um, whether it be go to a movie, have a family game night, take a bubble bath. Uh, just, you know, just take time to relax and rewind so that you're not so stressed out during this time of year because it can be overwhelming with all the things that you have to do. And... You know, I don't think that's what this time of year is, is about, is to be stressed out and miserable. <laughs> yeah, I think that, you know, we need to be happy and, and loving and enjoy the company of the people that we're with. So just, you know, take care of yourself and, and do things that make you happy and spend time with your family and loved ones. And um, I hope the holiday tips that I have given to you has helped you. These are things that, like I said, I I try and use. Um, and the things that I have found helpful for me. So hopefully it'll it'll be helpful for you as well. And I uh, hope you have a good evening. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.